Hi folks, I am going to read you a Paw Patrol story today. This story is all about skies when they wanted to pay attention while they're flying. Maybe that story is called Paw Patrol the Mighty Movie. Sky's Time to Fly. By Ella Stevens. Based on the screenplay by Cal Brunker and Bob Barlin. Illustrated by Fabrizio Petrosi. Published by Golden Books. Okay, let's begin. Hello, I'm Skye, the pilot pup of the Paw Patrol. I was born on the farm, and I was smaller than all my brothers and sisters. I always wished I was bigger and stronger, and I really wanted a home of my own. One day, a boy named Ryder came to the farm. He was the leader of the Paw Patrol, a group of rescue pups. Ryder didn't want another puppy, but I knew he was my only chance at finding a home. So I snuck onto Ryder's snowmobile and got into big trouble. Luckily, Ryder rescued me. I worried that he was going to take me back to the farm, but he didn't. Instead, we went to the lookout where he took care of me. He told me I was strong even though I was small and he made me part of the Paw Patrol team. Now Ryder and the rest of the team are my family. We've had so many adventures together. Ryder always tells us that no pup is too small. Even so, I don't like being small. I still want to be bigger and stronger. One day, a giant meteor was headed toward Adventure City. Everyone was in danger. Ryder and I, along with our, our other Paw Patrol friends, kept everyone safe but the meteor crashed right into the pup tower. Now a meteorite, the object was filled with crystals and the crystals had superpowers. I touched one and suddenly I had superpowers too. Soon, each pup took a crystal and discovered their own powers. Now that we're super, said Rubble, we're going to need a new name. How about the Mighty Pups? asked Ryder. The Mighty Pups were ready for anything. I have never felt so strong and powerful before. The Mighty Pups and I made rescues all over the city. We were unstoppable. But it all came to an end when a greedy scientist named V stole my crystal. She wanted my superpowers, and once she had them, she brought even more meteors down on Adventure City. The Mighty Pups had to stop her, but without my crystal, I didn't think I could help. I felt small and weak again. I had to get my powers back. Even though we were a team, I borrowed the other pup's crystals and tried to defeat V by myself. But V trapped me and took all the crystals. You always be the smallest pup, she said. I believed her. Then Ryder and the pups arrived. They rescued me captured V and got the crystals back. But it was too late. 
more of these meteors were already on their way to Adventure City. I was surprised when Ryder asked me to help destroy them. You still believe in me after everything I've done, I asked him. I've always believed in you, Sky, said Ryder. You're the reason I started saying no pup is too small. The rest of the team believed in me too. They gave me their crystals and I took off toward the meteors which were quickly heading toward Earth. There were so many, but I destroyed them all. I'm so proud of you, Sky, said Ryder. The pups were proud of me too. I learned that you don't have to be big and strong to be brave and do good things. I was a mighty pup after all. No rescue is too big. No pup is too small. The end. All right then, who was your favorite character in the story? Sky, Ryder, V, the Mighty Pups, the Paw Patrol, and more. <sighs> All right. Why did you wear that shirt to go with the story? Because the shirt has a cowboy that look like sky and it's time to fly because sky and fly sound the same all right well maybe it's been good I haven't seen you in ages now what do you want to say with me to the folks oh well folks I've got to go now I hope you enjoy a story about Paw Patrol, the mighty movie, Sky's Time to Fly. And then, I will see you again next week while we come back in another story to read it. Good. Alright everyone, where are we going? To music therapy. And I'm not going to Dad's house for dinner, because Dad is on vacation, right? Oh. Good. All right, everyone, where are we going? To Walmart. All right. Good. Okay. Adios, folks. I think I should say adios too with his Facebook friends. Hmm. <laughs> Good. All right, let me count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Click. <laughs>